All right, I want to clear up a myth that I have heard over and over again. Everyone thinks that professional patterns must be done in Adobe Illustrator and they must be vector. Guess what? 99% of my patterns aren't vectorized. Many of them are hand painted elements that I did in watercolor or acrylic, which I don't vectorize because I love the imperfections of hand created artwork, especially visible brush strokes dynamic color blending and watercolor blooms, even wobbly edges that make hand-created artwork so charming. Today's class focuses on hand-drawn, rasterized elements. So you can follow along with watercolor like I'll be demonstrating, or you can import artwork that you've drawn in Procreate, or just use a marker and doodle some shapes. All of these methods will work for today's class. And real quick, if you're wondering what the difference is between raster images and vector images, I've got you covered. Raster means that the artwork is comprised of pixels. So when I scan my painting into the computer and zoom way in, you'll see that this artwork is made up of teeny tiny pixels. So if you expand this design and blow it up to huge proportions, you'll see the pixels, they get all fuzzy. This is why I scan my artwork in at massively large dimensions. By capturing my original paintings with extremely high quality with my scanner, I can enlarge this artwork to be huge without it getting blurry. But there is a limit, and once I hit that limit, it'll get fuzzy. With vector artwork, this isn't a concern. No matter how large you scale up your vector artwork, it will always look the exact same. This is because vector artwork is made up of lines, points, curves, and shapes that are all based on mathematical formulas. When you draw shapes in Adobe Illustrator, these illustrations are vector-based. Vector artwork is incredibly versatile because there's no limits on how large or how small you scale your illustrations. I actually love vector style art and I create a lot of vector illustrations in my portfolio but I also love the feeling of a hand-painted illustration. You can sign up for this class by clicking the link just down below in the description. If you're not yet a Skillshare member, no problem. That link will grant you a free trial of Skillshare, which means you can access this class and all my others on your free trial. Have fun learning! Cat Cocolette, over and out.